Okay guys, hold on tight. This is a physical revolution. A single light particle has been made visible for the first time. Scientists have achieved something that was previously thought impossible and show us what a photon really looks like. What this groundbreaking discovery means for quantum physics and why it could turn our understanding of light upside down, you'll find out in this video. Make sure to stick around until the end. Welcome everyone. Hi guys, before we get started, a very quick note. You can really help the channel a lot by subscribing, liking, and leaving a comment so that this video is shown to even more people. And now we come to today's topic. Imagine if you could see a single particle of light, a tiny photon, smaller than anything we can imagine. Impossible. Wrong thought. That's exactly what researchers at the University of Birmingham have now achieved. But what exactly is a photon? Photons are the elementary particles of light, so to speak, the smallest light particles that can exist in nature. When you turn on a lamp, it shoots tons of photons into the room. When the sun is shining, incredible amounts of these light particles are constantly pelting down on the earth. And when you look up at the starry sky at night, individual photons reach your eyes after a journey through space that sometimes takes millions of years. So. Photons are everywhere, but they're so unimaginably small that we haven't been able to observe them directly until now. The reason for this can be found in quantum mechanics, which is the physics of the tiniest particles. And it's really mind-blowing. A photon behaves like both a particle and a wave at the same time. It's like a pudding particle being a sea wave at the same time or something like that. Quite confusing, but it is precisely this duality that makes photons so special they are everywhere and nowhere at the same time, exist in several states in parallel, and behave completely differently from everything we know from our macroscopic world. But the researchers at the University of Birmingham have now accomplished something that no one thought was possible before. They have made this strange quantum nature of a single photon visible. Dr. Benjamin Yun, one of the lead authors of the study, explains, our calculations allow us to turn what appears to be an intractable problem into something that can be calculated. And as a byproduct of the model, we were able to create this image of a photon, something that has never existed before in physics. What we see in the image is truly breathtaking. Are you ready? Okay, hold on tight. Here is the image. Oops, that was probably the folder with the vacation photos. Wait a moment. Here is the image. A single photon appears as a kind of glowing sphere surrounded by a blue shimmer. In the center, there's a yellow-green region of highest intensity that transitions outward into a turquoise area. And what's fascinating is that this image is not an artistic representation or a rough approximation. It's an exact mathematical description of what a single light particle actually looks like. But how did the scientists manage to do that? The trick lies in a completely new theory that describes how light and matter interact at the quantum level. Professor Angela Demetradu who was also involved in the study, explains, The geometry and optical properties of the environment have profound effects on how photons are emitted, including defining the shape and color of the photons and even the probability of their existence. This sounds more complicated than it is. Imagine throwing a stone into water. The waves that arise are influenced by the shape of the shore. They are reflected differently at a straight key wall than in a natural bay. It is the same with photons. Their shape is determined by their environment. Just like my shape of pudding particles is determined. Okay, last pudding particle joke in this video, I promise. The researchers have developed a mathematical method. With this, they can divide the infinite possibilities of how a photon can propagate into distinct groups. This enabled them to describe not only the interaction between the photon and its source, but also how the energy of this interaction propagates into the so-called far field. Our work helps us first to better understand the energy exchange between light and matter, and second, to better understand how light propagates into its near and far environment, explains Dr. Ewan. A lot of this information has been dismissed as noise, but there is so much information in it that we can now understand and use. But what does this discovery mean for us? The possibilities for application are truly revolutionary. The new theory could help us to develop better sensors, improve the efficiency of solar cells, or even build quantum computers. If we understand exactly how photons interact with their environment, we can use this interaction in a targeted way. We could develop materials that shape photons in a very specific way. This would allow us to build significantly more efficient solar cells that can optimally capture sunlight and convert it into energy. Or think about the development of quantum computers. Here, individual photons play a central role in information processing. 
The better we understand how these light particles behave, the more likely we are to use them for our purposes. Another exciting aspect is communication. Information is already being transmitted in fiber optic cables using light, except in Germany, that is. With our new understanding of photon geometry, we could further improve this technology. Maybe in the future, it will even be possible to shape individual photons to transmit information even faster and more securely. Professor Demetrado emphasizes, With this understanding, we are laying the foundations for developing light-matter interactions for future applications. And that's exactly what makes this discovery so significant. It's not just a scientific breakthrough, but also the beginning of a new era in photonics, meaning the technical use of light. The discovery also has a kind of philosophical implication, or what do you think? For the first time, we can see what one of the most fundamental particles in the universe really looks like. The symmetrical, almost artistic shape of the photon reminds us that there is a certain aesthetic even in the abstract world of quantum physics. The light, this mysterious phenomenon that has fascinated the ancient Greeks, finally shows us its true face. And what a beautiful face it is. Could totally participate in Germany's next top model, right? What's interesting is that the image of the photon looks almost exactly like how people would have imagined a light particle. A kind of glowing sphere. It's just that the reality is even more fascinating. The different color ranges show us the various energy levels, and the probability distribution of the photon is like a kind of fingerprint of light. Dr. June adds, thousand. Much of what we have previously dismissed as noise actually contains important information. And that is an important insight that goes beyond the world of physics. Sometimes the most important discoveries are hidden exactly where we least expect them. In the apparent chaos, in the noise, in what we have previously ignored, I also find the mathematical approach the researchers have chosen particularly exciting. They developed a method called pseudo-mode transformation, which allowed them to divide the infinite possibilities of photon propagation into discrete groups. Dr. Ewan explains, we transformed the continuous Helmholtz eigenmodes, which describe how electromagnetic waves can propagate into a discrete set of non-hermetic pseudo-modes. Sounds complicated, and it is. But it was exactly this mathematical finesse that was the key to success. The method allows for the first time a complete and exact description of the quantum dynamics of a photon, without the usual simplifications and approximations that were necessary before. So from now on, everyone should pay a bit more attention in math class. Of course, I'll keep you updated on all further insights into photon research. So make sure to subscribe to the channel now. And speaking of exciting new insights, and speaking of exciting new findings, did you know that there was once a time when it rained continuously for two million years? A gigantic volcanic eruption caused incredible weather chaos and completely unbalanced the Earth. What exactly happened back then, and what effects this continuous rain has had on the development of life up to today, you'll find out in my new video. Make sure to click up in the top right, it's really super interesting. And if you click on the top right, you can watch another exciting topic about space and science. Every click really helps the channel a lot. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.